Good morning. My name is David Greenfield. I'm the councilman from the 44th District of Brooklyn. I'm privileged to serve as the chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee. Councilmember Gentili, I want to recognize Councilmember Palma for being the first to arrive today. Thank you, Councilmember. Councilmember Daniel Gorodnik, who is featured this week in city and state for his budgetary advice. Councilmember Rodriguez, Chair Ku, Councilmember Lander, Councilmember Williams, Councilmember Richards, Councilmember Kalos, Councilmember Reynoso. I want to thank the subcommittee chairs, Chair Richards for his outstanding work, Chair Ku for his outstanding work, and Acting Chair Cohen for his pretty good work. Uh, he's not here, so I can, I can tease him. I also want to welcome my son, who has joined us today on vacation. Thank you for joining us. The committee will be voting today on 13 resolutions before your presentation and vote by the full council. First up are 12 individual landmarks proposed for designation by the Landmarks Preservation Commission pursuant to Section 3020 of the City Charter. The landmarking of these buildings, all located in East Midtown and Councilmember Gorodnik District. In case you're wondering, by the way, today's Dan Gorodnik Day in the New York City Council Land Use Committee is a key part of the East Midtown planning effort. The zoning component of the planning effort has started public review and the committee will be voting out early in the summer. In fact, it sets a new precedent within the land use process, unlike most people who get what they want after the zoning is done, Councilmember Grodnick gets it even before the zoning is improved. Nice, nice work, Councilmember Grodnick. The 12 landmarks in the land use committee that we'll be voting are on. The first is the Gray Bar Building, located at 420 Lexington Avenue. Number two is the Beverly Hotel, known as the Benjamin Hotel, located at 125 East 50th Street. Maybe you'll explain that to us, Councilman, why the Beverly Hotel is known as the Benjamin Hotel. Number three is the Pershing Square Building, located at 125 Park Avenue. Number four is the Shulton Hotel, located at 525 Lexington Avenue. Number five is the Hotel Lexington, located at 511 Lexington Avenue. Number six is the 400 Madison Avenue Building, located at 400 Madison Avenue. That's convenient. Number seven is the Minnie E. Young House, located at 19 East 54th Street. Number eight is the Martin Erdman House, located at 7559 East 55th Street. Number nine is the Yale Club of New York City, located at 50 Vanderbilt Avenue. Number 10 is the Hampton Shop Building, located at 1820 East 50th Street. Number 11 is the 18 East 41st Street Building, located at 1820 East 44th Street. And number 12 is the City Corp Center, located at 601 Lexington Avenue. In fact, all of these landmark items now have the benefit of the wonderful Coo Greenfield legislation that requires that landmarks be voted upon within one year. And so we know that it certainly helped move things along expeditiously with the Landmarks Preservation Commission. Thank you, Chair Ku, for your collaboration and efforts. We also have one item for our planning subcommittee, and I see now that our reasonably good planning subcommittee acting chair Cohen is joining us. Thank you for the work that you're doing in the planning committee, and that is land use number 546, which is Rainbow Plaza. In this particular application, the Housing Preservation Development is seeking approval for the acquisition of property by newly created Article 5 Corporation and approval of a partial Article 5 tax exemption for 40 years. These actions will facilitate the preservation of 126 units of affordable housing at approximately 60 percent of the area median income. This application is Community Board 1 in the Bronx in the Speaker's District. The local council members are all in support of these applications. I will now turn to Council Member Gorodnik to give a riveting speech on the landmarks preservation and especially to explain to us why the Beverly Hotel is now known as the Benjamin Hotel at 125 East 50th Street. Councilmember Dangarotic. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I will be as riveting as I can be when talking about uh, the 12 uh, historic uh, buildings that we are about to vote on. And I thank you uh, for the opportunity and also to Chair Ku for the vote earlier this week. Uh, the change in name uh, um, of Beverly to Benjamin, um, well, they decided to change their name, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, I have no further ex explanation than that. Um, and uh, and That's obviously the name after me for the vote. They decided, right, they were looking for Council Member Kalos's vote and decided to go for it. Um, the, uh, Hold on, did the, Council Member Kalos insist on a name change? Is that what happened? Okay. Good for you. These are 12 landmarks, as you noted, in East Midtown. They're all in my district, and I'm really happy to see these important pieces of New York history finally getting their due. Uh, I also wanted to very briefly say a few words about the process that got them before the Council today. 
As many of you may recall, when the Bloomberg administration sought to rezone East Midtown in 2013, one of the objections that I had raised was that the rezoning had sought to build on our future without sufficient regard for our past. That plan would have encouraged development of new buildings without properly protecting the historic buildings in the area. Subsequently, we formed an East Midtown Steering Committee, which I had the privilege of co-chairing with uh, Borough President Gail Brewer. The steering committee comprised all of the local stakeholders, representatives from community boards, real estate interests, landmark advocates, urban planning advocates, and worked closely with the relevant city agencies. As part of the steering committee's work, we encouraged the Landmark Preservation Commission to review the area for buildings that deserve designation and to designate them before any new rezoning plan was put on the table. And they did. Uh, LPC put in a tremendous amount of work, and now these 12 beautiful, historically important buildings will join the ranks of the protected historic resources of which our city is rightly so proud. These buildings represent a wide swath of our heritage from the Mini E. Young House, a Renaissance revival style townhouse representing East Midtown's days as a prestigious residential enclave, to the neo Gothic Hampton Shops building representing the area's retail history, to the 20th century modern lines of the City Corp skyscraper representing the roots of East Midtown's current incarnation as a premier commercial district. These landmarks will keep us connected to East Midtown's rich history. This process where we honor our past even as we plan for our future is how we should do planning in our city. Today's hearing and vote represents a first, I believe. Uh, I am not aware of any other instance uh, other than the case of historic districts where we have heard and voted on such a large group of individual landmarks at once. Uh, and I believe we've set the record today, and I'm proud to have been part of the thoughtful planning process that brought these buildings to this vote today. And I hope that this process serves as a model for future landmarking and rezoning efforts. And of course, uh, in that vein, I encourage all of my colleagues to vote aye on these buildings. So thank you very much, uh, Chairman Greenfield and Chairman Koo. Thank you very much. And uh, just so that you know, according to the New York Times, an article titled From Beverly to Benjamin, the Benjamin Hotel, owned and operated by Manhattan East Suite Hotels, is the former Hotel Beverly, dating from 1927. After the Manhattan East Suite Hotel Company decided to spend $45 million to renovate it, the property, they renamed it from Hotel Beverly to the Benjamin. Any other questions or comments? What's that? Yes. Well, you know, we've answered all your questions now. I hear, by the way, it's a lovely hotel, incidentally, if you'd like to stay. Apparently, uh, it is uh, Cater Corner to the Waldorf Astoria, for those of you who are interested in staying in that neighborhood. So we'll give them a plug as well. All right, hearing no questions or comments, I will ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on land use, Chair Greenfield. Thank you. I'm going to have uh, Mr. Greenfield vote on my behalf. We're going to just say aye on all. Aye on all. Thank you very much. Gentili. Aye on all. Palma. Aye. Garadnik. Aye. Koo. Aye on all. Lander. Aye all. Williams. Aye all. Richards. Glad to see your son takes after his mother. Uh, aye on all. <laughs> Cohen. Aye. Kalos. Aye on all. Reynoso. Aye on all. I vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, as is our tradition, we're going to keep the roll open for 15 minutes until 11.58 a.m.